to this painting. Now we're going to be using Photoshop, the new neural filters in Photoshop. We'll be using the uh, style transfer filter. It's similar to Topaz Studio 2's AI Remix filter. Then after that, we're going to send it into Topaz Studio 2, add the impression filter to it, turn it more into a painting. It's going to end up looking like this. It's simple to do. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hey, also, please leave comments and questions in the comment section below. I'd really love to hear from you. Please like and share this video. This really helps grow my channel. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell notification icon, all that stuff. Hey, let's go ahead and make this painting. Without any further ado, let's get started. We're starting out here in Photoshop and we're going to run some neural filters on this image and we're going to look at different ones. Uh, we're looking at something called style transfer today, but you're going to come up here to filter to find your neural filters. Click on uh, right here, neural filters, and it opens up this um, tool right here and it says neural filters and you have this tab right here called feature filters and then you have another tab called beta filters. If you click on beta filters, you'll see a bunch of beta filters in here. We're going to look at some of these uh, on another video, but not today. We're, right now we're interested in the featured filters. Right now we have two. We have skin smoothing, and obviously I don't have a face here, but we have this style transfer, and this is what we're looking at today. These are artistic looks that will be applied to your image. So let's go ahead and turn that on here, and you'll see right here we have style, and you see what happened to my image here. It already took on an artistic look to it, right? But you see four different uh, previews here. If you click on show more, you're going to see a lot more. And down at the very bottom of the list, you have some different things you can do. Like you can preserve the color, the original color, uh, focus your subject, adjust the style strength. Think of this as like an opacity slider, brush size to make the, the look of the image change for you when you alter the brush size. And then you can blur the background out. I'll show you how some of that works here once we find a filter that we like. So let's go back up to the top. Now here's the first filter. It defaults on this one right here. These don't have any names, but you can see here's some Van Gogh type paintings right here, like Starry Night, and there's Van Gogh himself. The style transfer filter takes the effect of these images, the painterly effect, and will transfer them over to your image. So let's click on some of these here and see what kind of different effects we, we get. Now it takes a few seconds and you'll see a little uh, wheel spinning here because this is going up to the uh, Adobe Cloud and I think it's using their artificial intelligence sensei to apply these effects. Okay, so it's not doing it right from your computer. It actually does it in the cloud. So it takes a second or two for it to, for it to happen. But that's really cool. Let's just click through some of these here and see what kind of effects. So pretty fun stuff. I think you have to agree here. So you get some cool stuff. Like I don't like the pink in here, but we could work with that. I have one in mind, but I'm going to go through some. Let's see what tattoo looks like here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Very abstract. Let's try some Van Gogh. Oh, I like that a lot. Here's another one. Here's Starry Night. Takes on a blue appearance. All right, there's another one. We'll just go through some of these here, but you get the idea. They're pretty cool, right? But play, play through these and see what you think. See if you come up with one you like. And I think the one I liked was this one right here. This is a famous painting. I don't know who the artist is. Sorry. But this is the one that I settled on. I thought this looks really cool. But then I thought what we'll do is we'll use this. And then what we will do is add uh, an impressionistic painterly effect with Topaz Studio too. But let's go down here to the uh, controls down here. Now we can preserve the color of the original image by checking this preserve color on right here if we want to. And I don't like that so much, so I'm going to shut that off. And I don't want the preserve color on, so I really like that look. And we can focus the subject if we wanted to. When you uh, check this on, it just makes your uh, subject uh, a little more in focus and uh, it's going to be a painting so I don't really care about that so much and then we have one that I really like is the blur background now I'm going to check this on this will take a second or two you can see the little wheel spinning here and when I do the background when it's finished the background's going to get a little bit of a blur you see that and it picks the subject out here right let's go ahead and click on focus subject let's just see 
Yeah, you can see that subject got a little bit sharper, so I think I might leave that turned on. And then we can adjust this blur amount right here. We can give it more blur in the background if we want to. But I don't think I like that for this particular image, so I'm going to shut that blur off. And I think I'll even shut the focus subject off. Now the style strength, again, this is like an opacity slider. Up full is the full effect. If you pull it back, it's just like easing the effect off. So let's go ahead and come back. And if I come the whole way to the left, we're back to the original image. Okay, so let me take it up pretty full here. Maybe not quite the whole way up. Maybe to around like a 90, somewhere around there. Now see this little icon right here? If you click on this, you can see your preview changes. There's the before and there's the after. So that's really handy. Uh, is there anything else I need to show you here? So I showed you the strength. Then the brush size. You can change the brush size. Now just watch the image here. I'm going to turn it the full way up and see if you see a difference here. Might have a little more grainy look to it back in here. So... I'm going to go ahead and put it back to 50. Not a big change there, but I like the softer look for the painting here. Let me see what happens if I take it back even more. It just makes it a little softer in the background. Let's leave it at 50. I'm happy with that. All we need to do at this point is we have a choice of output. We can put it on a new layer, which is what I like. You can do it to the current layer, duplicate layer, whatever you want. A duplicate layer with a mask. I'm just going to put it on a new layer, click OK, and now you'll see here it is on this layer right here. So I can shut this off, OK, turn it back on. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this layer. That's Command or Control J. I went ahead and renamed these layers. Uh, this first layer, Style Transfer Photoshop PS, and the other layer, Topaz Studio, just so we can uh, keep track of what we're doing. Now let's go ahead and come up to Filter. And let's launch Topaz Studio 2, and we'll start working with the impression filter and turning this more painterly yet. I like the look so far. We could be happy with it right there, but you know me, I like to go the whole way on these things. Okay, so I'm going to click Add Filter. Let's come down here to, um, to the impression filter. But before I do, let's click on AI Remix. AI Remix is very similar to what they're doing in Photoshop. Okay, so you have a bunch of... AI Remix filters in here, and it's doing the same thing uh, the Style Transfer is doing, okay? So now we have a lot more uh, filters to work with, which is really cool. So I still like using these AI Remixes as well. But we have more, uh, more choices now, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I just wanted to point that out. So now let's go to Add Filter and Impression, and we'll start turning this into a painting. Let's click through some of these strokes. That's typo 1 it defaults with. Here's typo 2, typo 3. I usually like typo 3. And here's typo 4, 5, 6. And there's a bunch of them in here, okay? So let's try type 17. It's more of a like a Surat, more like dots and things like that. Here's a type 16. That's kind of fun. I think I like... I think I like type 5. Now, then we have to decide, do we want to have a low amount of strokes? Now, think low as more abstract, which I'm feeling more abstract in this image. Medium is a little more defined, and then if you go to a high number of strokes, it's more defined yet. I think I'm going to go with low strokes, go more abstract. And uh, usually what I like to do next is go to my paint opacity. This shows you more of a painterly effect on the image here. Let's the paint stroke show through more. Or if I move it to the left, it'll ease back on them. But you can get a nice soft pastel type look here or a chalky look when you go to the left. But I, I want a more painterly look. I don't want to go too high in the opacity, but somewhere maybe right around in there. And then at the next, the next thing I like to do is go to the stroke width and the stroke length. So if we take our stroke uh, width to the right, we make those strokes wider. If we take it to the left, we make stro smaller strokes. So I'm going to pull those back a little bit, maybe back to around in here. Now you'll start to see some of the white of the canvas show through. If you don't like that canvas showing through, uh, wait a couple seconds here and I'll show you how we can eliminate that. That looks pretty cool right there. And let's go with the length. I like to go both ways with this. Go to the right. And that's kind of whimsical and fun. I do kind of like that. And now let's uh, shorten those stroke lengths to the left. Find a spot that we really like. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to go with those long strokes. 
I kind of like that look, but I think I'm going to ease it back. I'm going to ease it back a little, maybe right around there. Now, if you see this bar on the right here, slide it the whole way down to, and come to texture and keep sliding that bar down and change the background type from solid to original and the white areas go away. But yeah, that's looking really cool. I do like that. And now what is the next step here? Let me think. I think I might add a little bit of spill to this. See what the spill does? It makes the paint stroke spill out. And I think I might want some spill in this. A lot of times I don't use it, but I kind of like what it's doing. I like what it's doing to the flower here. It's adding to that abstract look. So I'm going to add a little bit of spill. And then we can work with the uh, stroke rotation or the rotation variation. I'm going to do the rotation variation. See, it'll ver uh, give a variation to those strokes, which I kind of like that. Maybe a little variation. Right around there looks cool. So I'm again, I'm thinking impressionistic on this image here. And, um, and then, of course, you have the painting progress. I always like to drag through here. It takes you through different stages of the painting from where it starts and builds itself up. Now, I pretty much like the hoi to the right, but do I want to ease back a little bit? That's not bad right there, but maybe just a little bit back. Maybe right there. I think that looks pretty good. Now, if we want to throw uh, some texture on here in the canvas, like a canvas texture background, let me zoom in a little bit. Right now, we have no texture on there. So let's just throw a little canvas on here. I'm going to use canvas type 2, see what that looks like. Pull the uh, strength up. We can add a little bit of that texture in there. I don't want to add too much, but a little bit is nice. And I'm just going to settle with that one right there. And you know what? I think I am happy. I think I'm done. Let's see where we've come from. Here's the before. It was a really cool image, but here's the after. I love it. I love this uh, uh, abstract look to this image. And if you're happy, just come up here and click accept, and that'll send us right back into Photoshop. Now, once we're in Photoshop, I see like some little areas like here. See this little bit right here? If you have areas like this that you don't like, you can clean that up. Just come and get yourself a blank layer. Uh, get your uh, healing brush. I just type my shortcut J for my healing brush and make sure I have sample all layers checked on. And then you can just clean little areas up like that. If you don't like something, just get rid of it. You know, if you have a little paint stroke in there that you don't like, like this little stroke up in here I don't like, this one right here. You know, you can clean it up, like this little orange coming out here, I don't like it. Let's get rid of these. I don't mind some of these in here. I'm going to get rid of this one. That looks pretty cool. Maybe get rid of that one right there. Yeah, and you could just clean it up a little bit. These extra attention to details are what's going to set your images apart from other people's images. You know, you go that extra mile, and I think that's important. Now, let's see where we've come from. We started out with this image right here. It was a cool image. And then we added the uh, style transfer from Photoshop, came up with this, and I liked it. But I thought, nah, it is not yet done. And then we sent it into Topaz Studio 2, and we ended up with this. And then I did a little bit of cleanup around the edges of my flowers, and now we have this. So I'm really happy with this. Now, if you're happy with everything, you can come up to File. And you can go and click on save and give it a name. You can save it as a Photoshop file. You can save it as a TIFF file with layers. Or you can come over here, right click on the top layer, click flatten image and save it out as a finished image, as a JPEG, TIFF, whatever you want. And it's totally up to you. Well, there it is. Uh, we use Photoshop, the new uh, neural filters today. We use the style transfer filter. Got an artistic look to this flower image. And then we went into uh, Topaz Studio 2, added the impressionistic filter on it, which I was really happy with it. And at the end, I just threw a digital frame on it from Topaz Studio 2. Because, hey, it's a work of art and it needs a frame. Don't you think so? Hey, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. Plus, it helps me. It helps my channel to grow. And I really appreciate everything that you guys do for me to help my channel grow. It means a lot to me.